A lot had to happen for you all to want to listen to me. And I get to be that queer person in 2020. So it's awesome. <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Durga Gaude. My pronouns are they, them. I'm a trans, non-binary, gender-fluid person. I'm a trained sculptor. Uh, I'm an educator as well, an activist, India's first performing drag, performing drag king. And I also have another drag character who's a dominatrix and her name is Duraflex. People like we will, will make sure that we do not stop. We will keep taking up more space. We will keep, you know, talking about our identities and our lives and taking up space in a room, being as loud as we want, if we want to be loud and if we are loud. And as calm as we want, if we want to be calm in a moment. But just know that we're not stopping. There's going to be lots more of trans glory that's going to see, be seen in the world. I've been out for a few years now. I've been out for about five years now. And in five years, my understanding has really changed. Like when I first came out, I had to assert my masculinity in the world because I felt like my masculinity was really real. Like the expression of my masculinity was not welcome in the world or I was penalized for it. So I had to kind of, I found myself presenting in a boyish, androgynous kind of manner more shirts, more pants, less makeup, or makeup that like made my face look more masculine. So I would work on like changing my contour, changing my bone structure to make it look more boxy, uh, change the way highlights fall on my face. So I did do makeup stuff, but it was like makeup to make me look more masculine, or present more masculine. I can be wearing the most feminine clothing, have like lots of makeup on my face that's like super femme but at the same time I would also be the most masculine person in that room you know because femininity now my understanding of femininity and masculinity is like it's not in boxes it's like I feel my masculinity expressed at its peak when it comes from a feminine place and my femininity expressed when it comes from a masculine place and Self-expression to me is ownership, ownership of myself. For me, self-expression is like making a mark on myself, whether it's with my makeup or whether it's cutting my hair a certain way or dyeing it or choosing to wear a particular type of clothing on a particular day. Like all of those things for me is like actually sculpting myself and expressing how I see myself uh, in that moment of time. So that's what self-expression is. My existence is peaceful when it comes when I accept the fact that the way I see myself and experience myself in my body is consistently like changing and constantly changing. And so like I don't have a sense of like oh I did thing A or thing B like yeah there are certain things like that that I do like I, I do my therapy regularly I make sure to eat properly I work out I you know like write to myself I try to be you know I don't I try to not, not isolate myself like those are those are like very fundamental things of my human existence but like it comes from this deep acceptance of the fact that everything about me is going to constantly change biggest confusion, misunderstanding in the world is that oh, one day you're born, a doctor looks between your legs and then decides you're a boy or you're a girl and then your whole life after that, you know, is based off of that one decision of a person who you probably will not see again for the rest of your life. Um, so biological sex is what you're born with. 
please know that there is a spectrum within biology as well it's not that you you can be only born with two types of genitalia you can be born with 35 types of genitalia that we know of right now 33 of which are considered ambiguous genitalia and people who are born with this kind of ambiguous genitalia are called intersex people so i'm mentioning this uh, because intersex people inherently just go have a trans experience and you'll understand what i mean by that once i explain the difference between transgender and cisgender but please remember that there is a spectrum in biology it's not just a spectrum in psychology uh, or like a spectrum in in like sexual orientation but like there is a spectrum in biology um so that's uh as biological sex the gender identity is between your ears it's inside your brain it's basically how you relate to your body and how you exist in in your body like how you relate to your existence in this body um and its relationship to the world so like that is your gender identity is how you see yourself within your body your gender expression is how you portray on the outside uh what you feel about yourself on the inside or how you see yourself on the inside so that is separate from gender identity because how you feel and how you express may be two different things um and then the last one is sexual orientation which is what you like in others what is your what you are attracted to in other people so it's really not about you it's about what you seek and what you desire this gender is a term um that basically describes people whose gender identity um and gender expression like is in sync with what are the expectations of society so all the rules for men and women that are set in society if your gender identity matches with all the expectations and or most of the expectations then you're considered cisgender and transgender is for people who whose gender identity does not align with the expectations of the world from whatever uh, gender they were assigned so i am transgender not because i have had some medical intervention done to my body or i take hormones because i have not taken any hormones ever and i've never had any medical interventions in my body but i don't identify as a woman I identify as a trans non-binary gender fluid person. The world makes you feel like if you haven't gone through some sort of surgery or or something, some medical intervention, then you're not trans. But that's not true. You're trans if you identify yourself as trans. That's it. Full stop. We don't have an understanding of a lot. We don't we just there's so many things the universe has so many secrets and so many things to share with us but we haven't been listening as much there's so many things that are in our lives that distract us and i think that's what's true for like trans people and like the narrative around trans people it's uh, only now in the last few years since social media and like content creation became a real thing like it's it's now when trans people have ownership of their narratives finally because up until now like other people would write our stories or the people who were in charge of putting stories out would erase these stories or change them in in the way that it suited them i'm a millennial i i grew up with technology but the gen z's have, have been growing up with like a lot more advanced technology younger generations after that they will have more access to content and more access to data and knowledge and that is not going to stop so things are going to move faster you know and we are going to know more and there's going to be more narratives and i'm really excited to be like this really old trans person in my 80s being like back in the day you know <laughs> For me being queer in 2022 means that I get to be the the person that I needed when I was younger. There weren't any people who I could look up to. Um who looked like me or behaved like me or in media I didn't see them anywhere. They were literal unicorns. 
I am really lucky that I'm an artist, you know. I'm really lucky to be an expressive person. I'm 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 glad I am not socially awkward. I am glad that like that I'm able to express. I had the training to express. I was expected to express, you know, my whole life. Uh because my parents are artists. So if I didn't have that, I don't know what I would be. I didn't start off thinking I'm going to be a content creator or like a model or actor or whatever. Like I just started because I was like I want my story out. I want my narrative out because I know there are other people like me. I know they also haven't heard their own stories. Let me start by putting my own story first, you know, and then see how it goes. And then eventually like uh it's just a medium, you know. I am a sculptor. Uh and the way that i write also has a form you can't see it but my writing has a form like i weave stories and instances and things together to bring them together otherwise you know like my thoughts are not left floating anywhere kira i'm a sculptor who uses various mediums to express and like the internet happens to be one of them it's like for me it's about just feeling fully expressed so when i found the word trans non binary gender fluid like the words trans non binary gender fluid it made me feel really seen for myself so uh, yeah these words are there to self identify and not to use them against people to oppress them